Hello guys, so in this video right here, we will create a latest modern design of our WordPress directory theme using Gemini CLI. So if you haven't installed Gemini CLI, it's very simple. You just need to go to this URL right here. I'm going to link in the description below. And then you have to execute this simple command here in your terminal. So once you have that, you will be ready to prompt any custom prompt you have in Gemini CLI. And it's free for the first 100 contexts. I'm going to show you. So as you know, we have this usual directory custom prompt that we use to create instant WordPress directory theme. Now, what I'm going to do right here is take a copy of this and I'm just going to quickly paste that to a notepad just like that. So I haven't tried this. Let's see how it's going to look like. First, we're going to populate the variables configuration right here very quick. So here in Kifa Scraper, you can get some ideas here in the listing categories overview. This will have all the Google categories available. So for example, your directory will be related to Rafi. So let's have a look. So we'll look at this. There is this Reiki therapist that uh, we can scrape. This is quite unique niche right here as a directory. So we're going to go for this one. So what I'll do is I'll go to the scrape business listing and then type that Reiki therapist right here. And you're going to choose a specific country where your directory exists. So in this case, I'm just going to choose Australia for now. And here you can leave the stick. So it will have all the Reiki care office around Australia. Now here you can have, if you want to scrape everything, you can put 10,000 as the maximum. But just for this example, so we can quickly see how it's going to look like. Let me just scrape 200 business listings. Later on, if you want to grow your directory, you can use this offset token to scrape again the same query right here. And it will skip those business listings that you already scraped. So you don't have duplicate business listings, which is a really good feature. If you want to start a small directory, let's go ahead and get business data. And you can see right here, we completed the request data. We have the 200 credit, 200 business listings. So let's download this. So your data will look like this. The next step that you have to do is to clean up a little bit your data. So first I'm going to save this as XLSX. So here, just choose this file and let me just have it has Reiki, just like that and save this. The next thing that I wanted to do is fix the state naming convention right here, because as you notice, some states have shortened versions. So for example, Victoria, and you can see right here, Vic. So we don't want to have that. Otherwise our category categorization in our directory will not appear properly. So what I'm going to do, I will activate the filter right here. So just activate the filter here and this one sort this by ascending. Now, once you have this in ascending order, you can easily view the states that you need to fix. So for example, this NSW. So we have to make it as New South Wales. So just go through this list. Since I already scraped 200 listings, so it won't take me that much time. So I have 200 listings only. So I think I fixed everything. Uh, we don't have all the states because we didn't scrape everything, all the business listings. Just for this example, we have the 200 listings. Uh, make sure you save this and we will come back here later. Now, in this prompt right here, we're just going to populate some of the variables right here. So the folder name will be, so just name it as Reiki directory. The site title will be, so Reiki therapist in Australia, custom post key, just say Reiki and the custom taxonomy. So we will categorize it by state and team name. Just gonna have to use the same title of the site right here. So the directory Google cat, just have it as Reiki therapy. It doesn't matter. It's just using some guide in the custom prompt below. So here the country will be Australia and the color palette, you can go to this website coolers and then uh, start generating your color team so for example you want this team right here i'm just going to quickly copy this five hexa code all right so format it like that and that's all the configuration you need now the next thing that we want to do open this local wp so you will be able to run wordpress in your website so install this go to google search local wp so here i'm just going to create a new site here i'm just going to name it as reiki herophy you continue so once it's installed, make sure to activate this one click admin and we're good to go. Our setup is ready. So when you go to WP admin, it goes straight to the dashboard. And later when we have our team, we can activate it. Now we're ready to prompt this. So take a copy of this and here in WP, just click this VS code. And here, since we already have the Gemini CLI installed, what we just need to do is open a terminal. So here in VS code, you can open the integrated terminal just like this. And we're going to type in Gemini. So if you're first time running the Gemini, you will be prompted to either put your API key or authenticate using Google. So you just need to authenticate using your Google account and you will have the access to this free context. So once your Gemini is ready, what you need to do is take a copy of this custom prompt that we modified earlier. So you just copy everything and you just simply paste everything here in the Gemini CLI. As you can see, everything has been added and hit enter. So we just need to wait for a few minutes to for Gemini to complete our request. And here you will see Gemini completed 
all our custom prompt requests. Now let's just quickly take a look of the files that it created. So here are the copy or here are the required files that we asked Gemini to do. Now the next thing that we want to do is to see whether this team is going to work. So as I mentioned earlier, we go to WP Admin and here we go to Appearance and then go to Teams. And this is the team right here. We're going to activate this. And before we start using it, we need to install this required plugin. So go to plugins and click add plugin. And here the very important is the advanced custom fields. We need to install this plugin. So just click on install and activate it. All right. Once it's activated, go to AZ field groups. So in our custom prompt, we added to create the custom fields. That's why we have this in sync available. We have this notification one. So we have to import this. All right. Once it's imported, we have now need to upload our listings, which is right here, the XLSX listing that we have earlier. So easily upload that. Just use this custom plugin that I added below in the description below. You can download this. So this is the XLSX to custom post importer. So install this and then activate it. All right. Now we can start using it by going to tools and this XLSX importer and then browse the Reiki listing that we converted to XLSX and we fix the state. So browse it and then click on upload and flop parse. Now select the Ray key tear of his as our custom post key. Now load fields. So here are the fast custom fields. You don't have to do anything on this. Now what you just need to change is the content. Make it as attributes and the featured image will be the main image. Now scroll down. You don't need to touch these advanced custom fields. You just need to map the taxonomy correctly, which is very easy. So click this add taxonomy. First is we have to make the parent category as a region or the state. So I just select states here and add the children as the uh, CT right there. CT and then I select states and that's it. You can click on start import. So you just need to wait for a few minutes for all these listings to be completed. Then we can check our custom team. So while we're doing that earlier, we created using the Nano Banana, a hero section image that we can use in our team. So we need to download this and rename it as hero section that BNG. So we're going to do that. And here in our VS code, so just create a new folder, call it assets. Oh, it's existing. So this one right here, assets, so drag the hero section that you created using Nano Banana. So here it is. So we can use this as hero section image for our team. So as you can see, we already uploaded one out of 200. You can start viewing it just by opening this to new tab. Don't close this while it's uploading. So let's open this to a new tab. Nice. This is how it's going to look. Uh, well, uh, when we scroll down, as you can see, it's not that great design because as you know, if we best output that we can get this, if, if we are using Claude CLI, but if we are using something else, we might not get the best output from our team, but it's still manageable. So as you can see, we have the hero section here and we have as we have all the cities listed. And if we take a look at one of the states, so here are the list of the cities in this particular state. And let's say we go to Emerald, and we have two listings of Reiki Carafis, King Emerald City in Victoria. So let's take a look at one of the listing and it's looking decent. It's because we are just using a free model. So again, if you want to have a best quality king, you can use Cloud Code or just uh, use the Cloud Sonnet 4 from Open Router and use Klein. But just for the sake of this entire tutorial, uh, we just wanted to create a free template for our directory. And that's how you're going to do that. Again, this prompt right here is available in the description below. So if you need an access, yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you and see you on the next one.